paper down, if you want to relax a bit, stretch out a bit, you know, just feel free. Okay, we just go with something very basic first. We'll go one round. Huh? So we'll start with Renee to Jared to BK, Agnes, Van, and then myself. How about that? Okay, you guys are ready? Okay, Renee, let's go with spicy. Hello? Not not happy, spicy, spicy. La, la. I don't know what you think. Oh, like spicy, like you, you ate you, something sorry, spicy what? or like, <laughs> like spicy, you ate spicy. something spicy. Okay, so it's like you, you ate, ate something spicy, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I was like really confused. Okay, Jared, your turn. Three, two, one, action. Okay, BK, three, two, one, action. Okay, Agnes, three, two, one, action. Okay, Ben, three, two, one, action. Okay, three, two, one, action. <laughs> oh, spicy. Okay, Kat, what do you eat? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, I swallowed something and then I choked on the spiciness. Okay, so can, again, the question is what do you swallow? Uh, I was eating mala. Mala, okay. Like, so. Yeah. So, so moving on, okay, I know this is just the first one. Moving on from here, if you were to do it, do it. Meaning that if let's say you were saying eating mala, right? So you got to like tongue like this is chopstick, uh, you don't have chopstick, you just chopstick. So eat. So it must be whatever. Okay? Yeah. Okay, BK. Just sunny spicy up, right? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Good. Uh, Agnes. Korean oh. spicy Maggie. So I knew yeah. it was spicy, but I the more I eat like spicy but shook, so I still keep eating. Yep, fair enough. In fact, uh, I would say that your spicy level, you it's it felt like you can take spicy, which is a good interpretation. Okay, so the point is, even though it might be spicy, but it doesn't mean that everyone cannot take spice. Okay, Ben, what were you eating? Wasabi popcorn. Wasabi popcorn. But it's like okay. a bit choky, but it's not very spicy. Like I can take spicy la, So milk mm. mm. Good. So the direction from director is, okay, you, this is spicy. So then you all would eat and then <laughs> But when you can imagine, especially now for audition that's online, when it's, everything is make-believe, if the person says, oh, I want you to be sad, I want you to be happy, I want you to be blah, 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 you kind of have to create your own backstory. And in this process of creating, you have to create it as tangible and as realistic as possible. Once you're defined, you eat, you kind of know how to react. Don't be too concerned with the emotions of ha, ah, the face spicy or what. Doesn't matter. Okay, next one, we're gonna go with sour. Okay, Vanessa, when you're ready, three, two, one, go. Okay, Agnes, ready? Three, two, one, go. Okay, BK, ready? Three, two, one, go. Okay, Jared, three, two, one, go. Okay, Renee, three, two, one, go. Okay, and last one. Okay, cut. You guys, what did I eat? Ice cream. Ice cream. My intention was I wanted to eat an ice cream. So normally ice cream is sweet, right? So you go happy. So I wanted to play the oh just eat. But when I tasted it, it was sour or it was like weird. Then I'm like surprised. That's why I'm like 
Okay, so you see, what I'm trying to tell you guys now, another aspect to this is, um, you can be creative, don't think just within the box. Like I said, sour means, oh, uh, first thing, sweet. You know, it's the easiest, it's like, it's like the, I'll use it, the, the lazy man's way out, which is just, 最简单, 最直接, 最OK就做咯. And then that will go with every audition you guys have. 就是很直接咯,你做的东西每个人都在做. So, 为什么你会特别嘞? 懂我意思吗? Okay, but when do you know when is overacting or when is like like under or whatever? To me, okay, I feel overacting comes when you do too much. Example, okay, what I mean by overacting is let's like, say ice cream, I eat, oh, I sour. So I, my first expression is on point. After a sour idea, I then go like, that is over. When you overemphasize something that is already and uh, that's already been portrayed. When it comes to script wise, okay, I don't advise adding lines or ad libbing too much because, mm -hmm. um, again, as an actor, it is your own onus and your own uh, responsibility to try to work within what is given. Uh, to really test yourself whether you're a good actor is if you can get something and make it your own without changing anything. I think that that to me is like skill. You know, if, if everybody gives me a script and I keep changing it to sound like Daryl, then in the end, it's, it's, what's the point of playing different roles when it's the same person? Two, one, action. Can I have a cigarette? So, you know, huh? Of course. When I was younger, I used to smoke too, a lot. What, why, why did you stop then? When you were five years old, there was this one time. When I was smoking, you ran away from me. I asked, where do you go? You say it stinks. Since then, I stopped smoking. I don't even remember that. When you get past all this, you'll become a lot stronger. Let's go inside. Okay, very good. Ready? Three, two, one, act. Can I have a cigarette? Oh, you knew one. Of course. When I was young, I used to smoke a lot. Uh, then why did you stop? When you were five years old, there was this one time when I was smoking, you ran away from me. You said it stinks. After that, I stopped. I don't even remember that. When you get past all of this, you'll be much stronger. Let's go inside. Okay, cut. All right. Three, two, one, action. <coughs> Can I have a cigarette? So you knew? Of course. When I was your age, I used to smoke. I used to smoke a lot. Why do you stop then? When you were five years old, there was this time while I was smoking. 
and you just ran away from me. I asked, hey, where you were going? He said it stinks and ran into another room. Yeah. After that, I stopped smoking. I don't even remember that. When you get past all of this, you'll be much stronger. Let's go inside. Okay, cut. Three, two, one, action. BK, can I have a cigarette? Can you? Of course. You no, know, when I was your age, I used to smoke. I used to smoke a lot. Why do you stop then? When you were five years old, there was this one time I was smoking, you just suddenly ran away from me and I, I asked you why. You, you said it was too smelly and you ran into another room. I stopped smoking after that. I don't even remember that. Okay, when you get past all this, you'll be much stronger. Okay? Come, let's go inside. Okay, cut. Three, two, one, action. Can I have a cigarette? You knew? Of course I knew. You know, when I was young, I used to smoke too. I smoked a lot. Then why do you smoke? When you were five years old, there was this one time when I was smoking, you just ran away from me. I asked you where you're going and you said it stinks. And then you ran into another room and after that, I stopped smoking. I don't even remember that. When you get past all of this, you'll be much stronger. Let's go inside. Okay, Kato. Tell me about the scene. What do y'all feel about this scene? What is it about? I'm thinking it's like the, the child is going through something hard. And then like he or she is resorting to smoking more. And then the, the parent caught caught the caught the child. And then like basically like try to like have a heart a like, conversation with them and like tell them to stay strong. I think the child and parent like they have a very strange relationship. And this is like the first time they connect. Yeah, I definitely agree that uh the parent and the child definitely has quite a distant relationship. But I think from a child's perspective, I think the parent never understood him or her well. But in fact, I think the parent probably knew him or her better than he thinks so. Yeah, uh, like as a child, I think the child uh, will be very like, worried and scared when the parent found out that the child is smoking. Uh. Mm. But in the end, the parent's reaction uh, it's very heartwarming, no? like, I also smoked before, you want to smoke, smoke, huh? then uh, this is a time for you to experience your life. Tell me, what is this scene's objective? The, the parents want to be closer to the child, huh? letting the child know that, like, uh, I was in your shoe before, then it's okay, like, stay strong. Okay, so, if, if I ask you to summarize, put it in, like, like one one sentence. 
the objective of the parent is to blank. Give me in summary. Strengthen their relationship. Okay, strengthen their relationship. Full stop. So if you're playing the child, what is your objective in this scene? Okay, why I'm asking you this question is very, very simple. Because if ever you guys get the role of the child, you get the audition. You cannot go there not knowing what is the purpose of your this scene and what is your objective. You cannot go in there not knowing what the hell is happening. Okay, because if you don't know what's happening, then your performance will be don't know what's happening. Okay, so when you guys think of your character, don't tell us, uh, don't tell us. We will watch, okay, we will watch and then from there we make a guess. Okay? Three, two, one, action. Can I, hey, can I pass me a cigarette? So you knew? Of course I knew. <sighs> you know, when I was young, I used to smoke. I used to smoke quite a bit. Why do you stop then? Well, there was this one time when you were five. I was smoking and you just suddenly ran away. When, when I asked you where you were going, you said it stinks and then you went into another room. I kind of stopped smoking since. I don't even remember that. Hey, so, listen. When you get through all of this, you will become stronger, alright? Now come on, let's go in. 3, 2, 1, act. <clears throat> Can I have a cigarette? So you knew? Of course. <sighs> when I was young, I used to smoke. I used to smoke a lot. Why do you stop then? When you were five years old, there was this one time when I was smoking and you just ran away from me. I asked you, uh, where were you going? And then you said, it's things. And you ran into another room. So after that, I stopped smoking. I don't, I don't even remember that. Well, when you get past all of this, you will be much stronger. Huh? Let's go inside. Okay, cut. Very. <clears throat> Can I have a cigarette? Wait, you you knew? Of course. <sighs> When I was young, I used to smoke too. I used to smoke a lot. Why do you stop then? 
well, when you were five years old, there was this one time while I was smoking, you ran away from me. I asked you where you were going, you said it stinks, and then you ran to another room. I stopped smoking since then. I don't even remember this. When you get past all of this, you'll be much stronger. Come, let's go inside. Okay, cut. Three, two, one, action. <coughs> You need. Can I have a cigarette? <laughs> you knew. Of course. When I was young, I used to smoke. I used to smoke a lot, so. Well, why do you stop then? When you were five years old, it was this one time. When I was smoking, you ran away from me. I asked where you were going. You say it stinks. And ran away. Since then, I stopped smoking. I don't even remember this. When you get past all this, you'll be a lot stronger. Let's go inside. So basically, go one round. Okay, everyone, tell me Agnes' character. Who was she playing? What was the vibe? Like a strict mom, right? Strict mom, okay. I get like a bit of a principal slash authoritative motherly figure kind. How oh, then? What do you feel? I feel like she's like the lao hu ma that kind. Hu ma, okay, okay. Even uh. in your get up also, your outlook, I think you meet the kind of fit the role lah. Okay, your presence, your vocal presence, and all that seems. How BK? What do you think? Anything else unique, different from what you perceive? <laughs> Probably depressed mom. <laughs> Depressed mom, also, maybe, maybe. Overly, overly, what? Overly caught, what? Uh, N2 slash, okay, too perfectionist kind of mom, maybe, okay. What about Vanessa? What about her character? Pretty different from Agnes, I think. I feel like, yeah, it's like Agnes is more harsh, but like Vanessa's was more like, it was. More like subdued. Like okay, so when I ask you guys about character, you don't need to give me specifics like, oh, she's a huma, hu that kind. I think you can pick up points like, what's your impression of her? Like, like, remember if I can think of BK, BK's first line was very strong. Like, give me a cigarette. Mm. So then like, like, okay, my impression of her is she's a bit strict, a bit fierce. Ah, so just go with that. You know, you don't need to give me specific like, oh, she's a, a, a businesswoman who has like $9 million in a bank account. Like, don't need so much. <laughs> okay, that is your own backstory, okay? That is your own backstory. But when I come across you, I just think like, wow, this girl is like, like don't mess with her. She knows her shit. I'm going to give you guys one last chance to act, okay? And I'll tell you the premise. Child, she, he is about 17 years old, 16, 17 years old. Hated the father, neglected as a child. Uh, the mother died early, so he's the only parent. And then, up until the day that he found out the father had cancer, he didn't care about him. He was rude, he was obnoxious, he was just couldn't give a damn. The child already knows the dad is going to die in like a matter of days. And he feels remorseful for whatever that has happened. He felt like he's smoking outside because he's so frustrated and he's so upset with himself. Then for the father or the child, the parent, Basically, you came out, you are weak as fuck. You are like, you are like totally dying already. Like you, you are using as little ounce of energy you have 
to come out to your son who is smoking. Okay, camera rolling. Three, two, one, action. Can I have a cigarette? <laughs> um, you knew. Of course. <gasps> When I was young, I used to smoke. I used to smoke a lot. <laughs> what? Why do you give it up then? When you were five years old, there was this one time when I was smoking. You just ran away from me. I asked where you were going. <coughs> you said it stinks. You ran into another room. After that, Okay. <laughs> no, I, I don't even remember that. When you get past all of this, you will be much stronger. <laughs> Let's go inside. Okay, cut. One, two, one, action. So you knew. I know so I used to smoke. I used to smoke a lot too. Why do you stop then? When you were five years old, there was this one time when I was smoking, she ran away. I asked, where were you going? You said, it stinks. And ran to another room. Since then, I stopped. I can't even remember this. Then you get past all this. will become a lot stronger. Let's go inside. Okay, two, one, action.
Can I have a cigarette? Wait. You knew? Of course. When I was young, I used to smoke. I used to smoke a lot. Why do you stop then? When you were five years old, there was this one time. While I was smoking, you ran away from me. I asked you where you were going. You said it stings and you ran into another room. After that, I stopped smoking. I can't even remember this. When you get past all this, you'll be much stronger. Let's go inside. Do one action. Hey, can I have a cigarette? So you knew? Of course I knew. <laughs> you know, I just spoke a lot. I just smoke a lot more than you. Why do you stop then? <laughs> you see, when you were five years old, there was this one time I was smoking and he suddenly ran away from me. I asked him why and he said it was smelly. I just stopped smoking since. Sorry, I can't even remember this. No. When you get past all of this, you'll be much stronger, okay? Come on, let's go in. Okay, and that's a cut. All right, well done, everybody. Round of applause for all of you guys. Uh, very convincing uh, performances all around. Um, generally, across the board, if you guys watch from your early start, first time you all did the scene, and this last take, it, it, it's already layered. You know, this is what I always say, if we do the part to, to think further, create, you can do wonders. You know, you don't need to be well-trained in that sense, but as long as you understand the story, and you understand the context. We are all humans. We all have emotions. And you guys nailed it. 